Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Madden Game Man, and I am back with some more USFL. Yes, sir. And this one we got the Breakers taking on the Gamblers. Now it's almost playoff football time. I think I think it starts next weekend, if I'm not mistaken. So this right here. This got to be a good game, and it's a 10 minute long video. Come on now. It cannot be an ass whooping. It cannot be an ass whooping. I'm not gonna lie to you, I got I got the breakers in this one. We're gonna see though. I got I, I feel confidence in, in, in the breakers. But the last time I saw the gamblers, they, they played pretty well, if I can remember. They they play they play pretty solid. But before I bring to his reaction, I need you guys to like this video right now. Subscribe to your boyfriend with more reactions just like this one. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. In oh, USFL. Oh, shit. The South Division Championship, the New Orleans Breakers, and the Houston Gamblers. This a chance for the South Division Championship? Breakers and Gamblers. This definitely got to be a good game then. Final day of the regular season of the USFL. Is Last game of the regular season. Looking for a little running room to the outside as Eli. Uh oh. But still for the good return. Brought down by Vogel. Excellent start for the. Like those. That's how you open it up. Thompson will come out. Leads the USFL with 2,207 passing yards. Third in the league in completion percentage. And he's ready to go. Communication down. Can get out of position. Third down and six. Bethel Thompson in trouble. Ball is out. And it's Ooh, that offense saved him on that one. Jack Kramer, the Houston Gamblers offense going to work. It's really been a tale of two seasons, Robert, for Kenji Bahar. Last four games, that completion percentage under 55% after having a hot start from a completion standpoint. Quickly, just got it off in time to Bahar. Bahar over the middle finds Zuber. Zuber trying to get the first down yardage. He's going to be stopped a yard shy. Hey, what's that? Slam called by Jonathan Adams, and Adams tripped up near the 38 yard line. A first down for the Breakers. Receivers to the top of your screen on third down and seven. Bahar. Protection breaking down. Oh, good spin. The run, looking for the first down yardage, and he'll be stopped. He didn't get the first down, but I like, I like the fight, right? I like the effort. For that first down yardage, and he didn't get there. How did he not get that? Oh my goodness! On, on third and one, you don't, you don't get a yard. Under pressure, down he goes. These defenses out here is lighting it up right now. Meeting Henri Saint-Amour at the quarterback, and the punt team coming on for the Gamblers. Looks like this might be a defensive game. And on first down, Wes Hills back on the field. McLeod Bethel Thompson will find him out of the backfield. Tiptoeing up the sideline and a first down. Here we go. Wait, 20. And on fourth down. Ooh, spin move. Oh, my goodness. Look at that effort. Handoff. Even if that guy's hitting with the spin move. First down off the play fake. McLeod Bethel. Oh, my goodness. Too easy. He put it on the money. I see you. Dixon's fifth. Those younger players in the secondary. Johnny Dixon coming a little bit of slot fade there, and that's just miscommunication. You let one of those guys go on a wheel. Way too like easy. That. Carries 27 yards for Thompson. This is carry number six. Oh, Leonard Fournette 2.0. I forgot all about him. Without in five. He looking to run somebody over. Oh boy, how was that not? Oh my goodness. 14 did not play that well at all. Because that should have been a pick. Speaking of picks. Come on, with the toe tap. A pick with the toe tap. Look at this. He does. Bats it to itself, stays in bounds with it. He reads this all along. Look at this. To the path of that throw, gets the interception. As a quarterback, you gotta throw that out of bounds, though. Yeah, need to be careful deep in your own end. Don't get a ball tipped. Safe throws only. To the sideline comes a dangerous throw, trying to go up and get it. Johnny Dixon. He tried to one hand. 
He tried to make the catch of the year right there. I see. A good cut. Like those. So do they got two at monster at running back? On second and ten. Bahar. Got him. Oh. God damn, what a catch. And he wasn't ready for the snap, and now just throws it into the end zone. After back-to-back timeouts, the snap comes before Nice Wander is ready for it. See if they can get a shot downfield. You can't be serious, bro. 13, Bahar. Oh, oh my goodness, power! The breakers try to strip it. Oh man, strength! Over and he stayed on his feet with it. I just hit 13 million subscribers on my YouTube channel, Hacksmith Industries, and the secret to that success is third down and four. Four man rush. Bahar in some trouble. Just hold on to the ball. Please just hold on to the ball. Shad to get in there for his seventh sack of the season. Woody! Wake up! On third and five. Tops into the air. <laughs> he put down the money, boy. What a catch. Number two, number two out here balling out. Check down to his tight end, Surratt. A good move. Just hold on to the ball. To the 31 yard I'm tired of seeing fumbles. I've been seeing a lot of fumbles in uh yesterday's game. Oh, too easy. Damn. Why you little boy him like that? He stood over him and then with the celebration, the little boy celebration. Nah, that's different. Bahar going up to that first down. He's got his man, and it's caught inside the 35 of the breakers. Fourth down. What? Did I just see that? For one today. Fourth down. On fourth down. And Thompson. Come on, Leonard Fournette. Did he get it? Does with that last little lunge, Grown man strength. One of my favorite running backs in the USFL. Third and 11. Bahar. Looking over the middle, got an open man, and a diving catch is made near the five by Kiki Chisholm. Drop, anticipate where. Okay, gamblers, I see what y'all doing. Oh, good cut. Thompson into the Too zone. Easy. To the season. And the gamblers are right back in this ball game. No this is a good one. Now the offense picking up. Look at it. Look at the cut. Bam. Got him. 23. He overplayed that one. Look at this. 23. Thinks he's going to get it. Lost leverage. I'm buying some gear, man. Second and one. Off the play fake. McLeod Bethel Thompson short to his tight end. Uh-oh. I like that play call right there. Use the aggressiveness, use the aggressiveness by gambles against them. Seems like they blitzing every damn play. Damn. Try and get some movement. Third and goal. Looks right. Comes left. Pressure has him in chambers. Damn. He should have thrown that one away. Works his way all the way back. To First field goal, 33 yarder. Oh, no. 33 yard field goal is good. And a seven point deficit. Houston faces a 10 point deficit. And a draw play to Thompson with room to roll. Thompson a first down. Second and Got him. Down the sideline. Open man is Emmanuel Butler. First down to the breaker 35. Early 2000s. He's got 49 yards. God damn. It don't matter because it's automatic. And it's good. What 20? Third down and three. With time down the sideline. Batted away. That's good. That's a good job. That's a good job by zero. A bit of an accuracy can lead to the incompletion like you saw there. If that was a little bit more accurate, he would have had a chance. Look at this. Oh, man, strength. I'm telling you. This dude different. Trouble on the snap. Trouble in the backfield. You know what's something that's not different? A almost turnover. How many times am I going to see this? Dives forward for a couple, but that you have a more manageable opportunity on fourth down and don't end up punting. First down. 
Bahar will step up, checks it short over the middle. He's got to get towards the side. Get bounce, get bounce, get bounce. On the edge, the clock will stop. Please tell me he got, okay, he got out. Eight seconds. Final play. Cameras. Oh, no way. Wow. Wow. What a game. The first, the, the first half was definitely a defensive type of game, but the offense of both teams picked up. Not going to lie to you, though. Kickers. I mean, not kickers. Uh, That that last one, uh, when it was like, what is it? Third, fourth and goal, and they went for the field goal. They said they had called, what, two timeouts, and they still messed it up. How? How? Please tell me. How do you still mess it up off of two timeouts? First and foremost, why are you calling two timeouts? That's bad. That's bad judgment, clock management, management or whatever by the by the coach, by the coaching staff. But two timeouts and you still missed it. Y'all deserve to lose at that point. The gamblers, though, the gamblers, they, they always fight hard, man. Got to give up for them. Great season. A really, really good season by them. But the breakers are moving on. Not I, hey, I, I got high hopes for the breakers. I, I haven't seen who they're going to face in the uh, playoffs. I don't know if that's out yet. But, but I think Breakers could be one of them, them teams that you don't see coming, in my opinion. But cannot wait to react to the playoffs. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Love every single one of you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.